Good morning, Virgo. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tour reader today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? Alright, so Virgo, this is going to be your monthly reading. Not all messages will, will resonate, but take a resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, if you do find that you are resonating with any of these messages, you're welcome to hit that like button or hit that subscribe button to let me know that you're resonating and enjoying my content and that you want to see more. Alright, so Virgo, today we'll be using the Rider Weight deck, the Moonology deck, and these bowl of goodies that I have in this bowl right here, which will be, you know, ruins, crystals, and, you know, anything else that's in there. Alright, so let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we got for Virgo during the month of August? What do we got for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so Virgo, at the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Cups, the Devil card in reverse, and you also have the Six of Swords. So, with with the King of Cups being in the upright, that tells me that you're going to be holding it back, holding back some emotions, and you may be bottling up some emotions during the month of August. Um, you also have the Devil card here, which is also which also tells me that you're releasing some type of negative energy out of your life, whether this is an addiction or just like a toxic connection that you just don't want to deal with anymore. Whatever it is, it seems like you're walking away from it. <laughs> Whatever it is, it seems like you're walking away from it and you're healing from it as well because all this baggage that's in this boat is being released and you're finally able to move forward in a very calm and peaceful manner. All right, so it does seem like you're going to be releasing a lot of baggage and you know really healing yourself and knowing your self-worth although you may be keeping some emotions to yourself but you're still healing from whatever it is that you are going through in the month of August and whatever it is that you've been through in the past all right so let's see what you got you have the ten of Pentacles you also have the two of Pentacles the star card in reverse the Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Death card, and the Three of Swords in reverse. Alright, so let's start from the top. So with the Ten of Pentacles being here, that tells me that you are very stable, like, financially. And, you know, if you're in a relationship, it seems like it's going to be very stable, very secure, very balanced. Although it does seem like you're going to be juggling a lot, so maybe this is you juggling your emotions, not really telling anyone how you're feeling, and that could be why you're bottling them up and not really you know, expressing that part of you, um, but also trying to do everything at once, not really making time for anyone else. And so you, in the month of August, you're going to be very busy, but really focused on your finances. Not And you don't really have time for you know bullshit or anything that's going to... Uh, hinder your success you do have the star card in reverse so whatever is happening in the month of august is it's not what you wished for it's something like you wished for it but it wasn't exactly you didn't exactly get what you wished for you kind of got you know some like unbalanced energy like yeah you wished for it but that's not exactly what you wished for so you got to be careful what you wish for um, because you might just get it, and, but it may not be exactly what you want, alright? So you do have the Six of Pentacles here, which tells me that in the month of August, you're going to be unbalanced, but I'm really getting like this is your emotions, like feeling really unbalanced with your emotions, but financially, and this is a finance card, but financially you're going to be very stable you may even tend to give more money than you actually should in the month of august as well and with the death card being right underneath the star card i feel like this has to do with your wish fulfillment so whatever it is that you're going through in the month of august it's going to cause a lot of change the death card is all about change it is also the card of scorpio um with the death card being here right underneath the star card which is aquarius it could be that your wish fulfillment is changing and that the way the thing that you desired the most you got 
but you started to realize that that wasn't exactly what you desired that wasn't exactly your wish fulfillment and you're starting to change your mind and your thought process on the situation and you're starting to do things in a better way or moving forward in a better situation that is going to be even better for you all right i know i said better like 30 times in that situation in that sentence but you know it works out right <laughs> You have the Three of Swords in reverse here, so you could be releasing or healing from a third party situation. It doesn't mean that you were involved in a third party situation in the month of August. It could just mean that in the month of July or sometime in the past, you were in a third party situation, but in the month of August, you are finally healing from that. You're finally letting go of the baggage and, you know, doing what is best for you. Like I said, you have the devil card in reverse, so maybe someone did involve you in a third party situation, and you're finally letting that go, you're releasing it, and you're doing what's best for you because you know your worth, you know your value, and you know that you can do a lot better, alright? And maybe you feel like it is unfair to you that you have to go t through this kind of thing because you want it... You wanted a very romantic relationship, and what you get? You got the devil card. You got a very romantic relationship, but a very toxic relationship. Not the best relationship that it could be, you know? So, you have the three of cups here. You also have the fool card and the king of wands. So you're not really sure on how to take action, and that's why you're just keeping your mind on your, you know, work and you know your finances not really you know focusing on your emotions just really focusing on your workplace and you know because you feel like if you just go to work you do your own thing you're not going to worry about these emotions that are in the back of your head and stuff like that so you're just like you know what i'm gonna just work on myself at work and just work <laughs> overwork yourself and it may work out for you but either way virgo um but it is a lot of earthy energy as well, so um, it does seem like you're needing to make some sort of decision, but you're just not really sure how to make some sort of decision. But at the end of the day, you're feeling a bit very foolish because you trusted this person. You thought this person was going to be there for you for the rest of your life, and they ended up walking out on you, or they ended up playing you or putting you in a third-party situation. And this person was your best friend, and they betrayed you, you know, like who does that how how can you be someone's best friend and be, end up betraying them like it just doesn't make sense you know don't you end up like hurting yourself don't you get hurt if you know it just doesn't make sense you know i don't know either way why is my eye itchy i don't get it i don't get it let's pull some ruins some goodies for you guys. So you have the clear quartz. So really listen to your intuition. You may need to hold on to some clear quartz in the month of August to really help you listen to your intuition and make some good judgment calls on what you need to do. Although it does seem like you are handling it pretty well. Um, you may need um, to pay attention to any red flags that may be appearing in your life. You know, this ruin does represent red flags. It represents red, uh, it represents signals. It also represents possessions. So you could be very focused on your finances, like I said before. <laughs> so these ruins are just like confirming what I said before. You have the warrior here. So you, you know your worth, you know what you should put up with and what you shouldn't put up with all right so yeah you also have separation so yeah again you could be breaking up with someone that you thought you had a really good connection with but it turned out that it was just a toxic connection and it wasn't really good for you um even though you wanted the connection to work out it just it couldn't work out the way that they were trying to treat you and the way that you know everything happens you know everything happens for a reason and we go through these things to learn what we actually desire and what we actually want in our life all right so let's see what you got for the moonology cards so for the signs that i see i see gemini libra 
Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, and Taurus. Alright? And Gemini as well. Actually, I, I, probably, I probably already said Gemini, but whatever. Alright, so Virgo. What do we got? What do we got for Virgo today? What do we got for Virgo? When it comes to the Moonology cards, what advice does Virgo need for the month of August? What advice does Virgo need for the month of August? Okay. So, Virgo, you have emotions are running high. So, yeah, you're emo you're going to be very emotional in the month of August. You also have your third eye chakra and your crown chakra really coming out in these two cards very strongly so really pay attention to your third eye and your crown chakra maybe you know make sure that they are open so that way you can really listen to your intuition and listen to the messages that spirit is trying to give you so that way you can receive them properly uh what you also have a time for healing so now is a great time to just focus on yourself and heal from this emotional pain that you are going through in the month of august all right so virgo that's going to be your reading for today i hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading if you did please like comment and subscribe it really does help grow my channel and i really do appreciate it namaste i'll see you guys next time peace and if you'd like to follow me on instagram and twitter links will be down in the description box below if you want to check out any of the other videos on my channel you can hit that channel button it'll take to a whole bunch of videos on my channel but other than that i'll see you guys next day week whatever <laughs> When I do weekly and uh, daily videos, so if you want to go check out those videos, you can go ahead and do that, but I'll see you guys next time. Peace.